Hey there! Welcome to Isabel Explains. In this video, I'll show you how to find the surface area of a cylinder. Now, before we get started, I just want to let you know that this video is actually part of a series of videos where I explain area, surface area, and volume. So if you want to check out the rest of the series, make sure to check out the video description. Let's go! Now, so far we've learned that circles are very special. And in this case, it's not gonna be any different because, well, we're dealing with circles again. However, the concept is still the same. The formula is gonna change a little bit, but the concept behind it is the same. It is never about the formula, it's about understanding where the formula came from. Now, for the surface area, I wrote the formula this way because I think that that is the way that makes most sense to me, at least. If we follow the same trend we've been using so far on breaking apart the figure and finding the surface area of the different sections first, right? So on the cylinder, it's not gonna be any different. We're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna take apart the circles, which we have two of them. We have a circle at the top, we have a circle at the bottom on every cylinder. And we're also going to take apart the side of the cylinder. As we discussed in the video on finding the area of a circle, the area is going to be pi r squared for one circle. But keep in mind, we have two. And also, we have the lateral side of the cylinder, and this one is gonna be a little bit different on how to calculate it, because if you think about it, this is what the cylinder would look like had it been hollow, right? And this is just the outside of the cylinder. So if we were to cut this cylinder and open it up, we would actually end up with a rectangle right and we can find the area of this rectangle by just multiplying the base times its height now the height is very simple the height is simply whatever the height of this cylinder is but the length of it the base this part right here is going to actually be the circumference of that circle so if you know what the formula for the circumference is which is 2 pi r that is what we would use for the length of the rectangle that the lateral side of the cylinder will form. So if we make the radius equal to 10 centimeters and we make the height of the cylinder 30 centimeters, we will find that the area of each circle is going to be pi times 10 centimeters squared. But remember that we have two, so we gotta multiply times two. And that would be equal to 200 pi centimeters squared. Now, most of the time, we are going to substitute the pi for 3.14, but for the sake of this video, I just wanna leave it expressed in terms of pi. So for the lateral area, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply two times pi times the radius of the circle because that is the circumference of this circle, which is in turn the length of the lateral side times the height, and that's gonna give me the area of the lateral side. So we multiply 2 times pi times 10 centimeters times 30 centimeters, which is equal to 600 pi centimeters squared. Now, what is the total area of the entire cylinder? Just add them up, and that is 800 pi centimeters squared. Now, if you want to find out what is the volume of that cylinder, make sure to watch the next video. See you there.